A unique population of owls in Utah is being studied in mountain regions across the state. Experts say this is a unique year to track their patterns. Fox 13 News reporter Mythaly Gooby shows us the team behind that research and some adorable owls. And the first time I held an owl, it, it's kind of life changing. Marcus Mika teaches at the University of Wisconsin, but for over the past two decades, he spends a couple months in the mountains of Utah. It's a very charismatic species. To study flammulated owls. Flammulated owl comes from these flame like racing stripes. Marcus showed me one of his four study sites near Snow Basin. This is a great model species that helps us understand how the system interacts and works uh, amongst the various drivers, the resources, the, the climate, the weather, all of that. He and his team monitor nine nests in this area. Eight are in nest boxes. Just the young, but still four young, which is great. Experts say that owl nests only have one or two babies per year, but this one behind me is considered successful because they had four of these little ones. Now, even if only three of them make it, that's still a win for this team. The researchers carefully weigh each young owl, measure their wings, and tag them with the band to track their progress. The oldest one's about 20 days. Um, they get it, they're coming pretty close to their the time when they're starting to likely fledge. Here is what a fully grown female looks like. There's something just deeply moving when I watch them behave. Marcus says this is the first year he hasn't seen a single nest he monitors in any of the four locations be abandoned by these owls. We'll always have to wait until we see how many young uh, make it through to fledging. That is a better indication to see how good the year is. But uh, 24 nests and us being overworked is a good problem to have. Marcus says avian flu was a concern for them last year. We wanted to be uh, careful. We, we wore masks. We made sure our hands were wiped off with alcohol beforehand. But these owls are more solitary birds that don't usually come into contact with wild waterfowl that could be carrying avian influenza. To feed on insects, so insects will not be a, a vector for avian flu. And ultimately, the goal is to learn more about these species so they can be protected. They're a successful species, but we're just concerned in the long term given the, the future predictions. At Snow Basin, I am Maitli Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.